So if you watch our movies from time to time, you know that I, I don't just deal with the usual real estate uh, properties of residential and condominiums, but I also uh, help people out with multi-unit investment properties. That's, that's the uh, apartment building end of things. And um, because of a couple of clients I've been dealing with lately, this has kind of come to the forefront. And I just wanted to point out to people who may be looking at doing something a little bit different with their homes. And there's a couple of things that you can do. So any residential neighborhood like this you can put in what's called a secondary dwelling unit in your home. So maybe you own a townhouse in Greenboro, maybe you own a detached house in the Glebe, and what you can do is add in an apartment and in effect make it a duplex and that's called a secondary dwelling unit. You can do that in just about any neighborhood in the city I think with the exception of Rockcliffe. So what you do is you have to adhere to building code and fire code but let's say you own a typical two-story house in Barhaven you can convert the second floor into an apartment and the rules are that you can use 60% of the space on that second floor. But if it's easier for you, for example, to create a secondary dwelling unit in the basement, you can use 100% of that space. And again, what in effect you're doing is creating a duplex, but the city says all the rules for a duplex or a triplex, forget about that. You need a certain frontage on the property, a certain depth to the property, a certain amount of parking, etc. But the city wants intensification, so they say, forget about that, create the secondary dwelling unit, and when you create that, you um, have to adhere, to, as I said, to fire code. So, for example, if you have a fire separation um, between the floors, so if you're building it in the basement, when you put in the drywall, the drywall, for example, has to be five-eighths of an inch thick, which provides a burn time and um, that's that's part of the code that you have to deal with but you can create uh, an income producing place in there that can um, help uh, make your mortgage more manageable number one or number two maybe you've got an, an elderly parent that, that wants to live with you. you you can do that so you can create two units from one or you can create a three unit building from two and that's it that that's where it stops now the other alternative that um, the city has has just approved recently is that you can build a separate building right on your property. It's called a coach house and you can put that in the backyard and of course there's rules and regulations and bylaws and all that stuff but you can do it to almost any property. So go to the City of Ottawa website if you're thinking of expanding your own home and look at secondary dwelling units and look at coach homes. So that's a tip for you for this month.